Hi guys, John with you again and as you can see construction of the gun is now completed. Okay. Uh, painted, weathered and there's only one final step to that and that's just basically give it a dull coat. Just to kind of, um, I don't know, just to make it look less shiny. It's a little bit shiny at the moment. Um, so that's all that's got to be done to it. And the next time you'll see it will be in the final reveal and it'll be all in place and everything else like that, right? But I was really happy with the weathering. Um, turned out to be absolutely fabulous. Right, uh, we'll give you close-ups now of it in a second. But basically, we'll have a, a sort of a, a stand-back look at it first. Right, um, beautiful, beautiful uh, kit. I really, 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 really enjoyed making this kit. Okay, so we get a close look now at the weathering. Come on, just. Looking for it to focus better. Okay. So I do apologize now. When I play around with the camera here trying to get it to focus better. <laughs> um, you can get I want to get kind of nice close ups of it there. Um doesn't want to help me out at the moment. Camera doesn't want to help me out at the moment. Uh, maybe it's just all the uh, all the shininess in it. But uh, oh, we'll, we'll carry on. We'll carry on anyway. Carry on regardless. That's what all we can do anyway, isn't it? Okay. Um, really happy with the with the weathering on it. Um, I got kind of. That, that dot filtering blended in absolutely beautiful, faded certain parts of it, that kind of thing. Um, and give it a, a sort of a, a pin wash with uh, black, which uh, highlighted some of the uh, other parts and things. Um, all I can say is that it worked out better, than, shall we say, than I was actually expecting, better than I was hoping really. Um, let me see, maybe, whoa, shining an extra bit of light now. Oh, there we go, there we go. There you can see the weathering on that now. That turned out absolutely beautiful. I'm really, really happy with how the weathering turned out on that. Um, as you can see, it's just a little bit shiny, but the, the pin wash has worked out grand. Bang. Um, the fading worked absolutely beautiful on it. Uh, really, really thrilled with how all that came about. And it was just literally just by putting on your couple of dots, nice thick flat brush. Uh, this is the brush I used. Okay, they're they're Meng brushes. There's a series. Of, uh, I got a packet of them, and they're, they're they're very nice brushes. And put on your couple of dots with the oil paint. Make sure your brush is damp. Not wet, but damp with white spirit, and just keep going down. Right, give it about three or four goes down. You can get it's all streaked; it looks all ugly and everything else. Clean your brush, dry off your brush again. Make sure it's damp again, and keep doing that. And it just you can see it kind of blending in and sort of little areas fading, some staying dark, some some staying light. Making it look, you know, natural, and uh, going over then again, then with uh, some of the darker ones, then in some areas here where I try to do a bit of the. Sorry, if you can get it over to the other side there. You can see it's sort of down here. I try to kind of get a bit of rust, streaky, kind of a thing on it, and the whole idea is just to keep everything subtle. You know, nothing sort of sticking out like a like a sore thumb, as they say. But just keeping it nice and subtle. Mm -hmm. Really, really happy with that. We'll just have an overhead view. And I'll tell you, I am chuffed to bits with how that came out. Really, 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 really happy with that. Um, like I said, I I, I I I amazed myself with how how nice this 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 turned out. Okay, so there's the gun. And here's the bogies. Like I said, all they need now is just um, 
uh, is just a dull coat just to take that shininess off you can see them here how shiny they actually are um, they are actually quite quite shiny in places um, I want to give them a dull coat I don't want it shiny at all I want it nice and uh, uh, matte a nice matte finish but overall I'm really really happy with the weathering and how it all worked out fading in different areas you can see the rust streaking come, come out a little bit better here okay we got some kind of nicer effects there with the with the weather with the uh, with the rust streaking on those on the on that side um, you know it's still something that I'm, I'm playing around with I'm, I'm still kind of learning how to do it properly but uh, shall we say I, I am chuffed with how it's turning out so far really really am but um, you know I am amazed with this I think it was a uh, really really chuffed with it like I said um, couldn't be more happy or I suppose I could I could sort of win the lotto or something like that then I'd be more happy but apart from that when it comes to modeling I couldn't be more happy how does that sound that sound a bit sort of more realistic um, right, there's all our parts beautiful beautiful kit really really is the engineering in that kit is absolutely fabulous um, like I said you know it stacks up there with uh, the likes of the uh, the dragon kits and things like that no I have seen the dragon kit it is a lot more detailed um, beautiful beautiful kit the dragon kit not taking anything away from that uh, in terms of actual kits yeah this is behind the, the, the dragon kit I wouldn't rate it as high as it for detail and all that but I'll tell you it, it, it's not far off it it's not far off it and uh, when it comes to cost you'd get two of these for the price of one of the uh, one of the dragon kits so you know um, it inspired me to go off and say go off and even kind of get the dragon kit give it and give the dragon kit a go you know um, because uh, it, it's, it's a lovely subject a very very nice subject and uh, it, 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 it's a German vehicle that we use literally on every theatre that the Germans fought in from Africa right up to the, the Eastern Front, Normandy and all of that. Um, this one actually is done in the Normandy markings. Okay, this, 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 there we go. this unit here, they had these in Normandy um, so, and they would have been in that colour scheme. Apparently, well, according to the books, anyway. So um, we're going for the uh, Normandy setting with this one. And like I said, I, I I think that this turned out absolutely beautiful. So that's the gun. Um, like I said, I'm just going to give that a dull coat, get that all finished off. So the next step now for 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 this uh, this whole kit really is to get the figures finished off. Um, I I did one last night. Well, I started one last night, shall we say? I'll give you a quick, a quick, a quick, quick look at him. All right, he's not finished. He's still plenty to do to him. I just gave him a wash. Um, he's the officer. Uh, just give him a wash. You now I got to kind of sort of do a bit of clean up work and a bit of highlighting and all that kind of thing and dry brushing and still, still, still some more to be done to him. Uh, not very, very impressed with the figures. Um, like I said, they're they're the old style Tamiya figures, so they're they're a bit on the chunky side. The detail is a, it, it, it's not the best. It's not the worst. It is not the worst. I've seen a lot worse figures. Believe me, you. I've seen a lot worse figures. Um, but it's not the best either. But you know what I mean. It'll do. It'll do for the purpose that I wanted for it. Um, yeah, very very shiny, but then again, remember they were glass coated, and uh, I have after giving it an oil wash, so that even kind of makes it more um, shiny again. Once they're dull coated in now, and and, and 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 you know, sort of highlight in different areas, low lights in other areas, then uh, then they'll be I'll be happy with them. So, the next time you'll see any of these figures and the gun will be in the final reveal now it'll probably be in about two days time okay 
probably will be it probably will be two days time because I'm going to uh, I'm going to finish off the figures. Oh yes, I I, I did a, a bit of weathering on the old motorcycle as well. Okay, that is looking better as well. That needs a bit you know a bit more clean up um, on the wash. And the great thing about using say oil paints and uh, white spray for for, uh, for 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 the wash to make up the wash we're using like I said white spirit and oils is you can literally come back at it the following day when everything is dry and clean it up with just say uh, a clean brush a bit of white spirit and I can get those uh, stains off the tank and all that kind of thing but um, yeah you know lovely little kit really really nice kit um, happy with how everything is turning out uh, like the effect there on the, the weathering on the bags they actually look like leather and once they're dull coated they'll even look better again um, the engine looks very nice yes I know I am carpet monster got me there when I was building this motorbike I should have said it earlier but uh, it took off to say that this little piece of the cylinder head you can see there where it's kind of joined it's, it's just a little cover piece it uh, pinned off when I cut it off the sprue and uh, I still haven't found it I kind of stayed quiet about it hoping hope that I would find it I spent a couple of days looking for it and I shall we say unfortunately it's gone it's gone I, 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 I've, I've, I have totally given up on it and uh, you know yourself when you've given up on something and I've done the final reveal and it's in the die or the whole shebang about two months time now I'll find that one little piece <laughs> guaranteed without fail without fail I'll find the, I'll find the, uh, the cylinder head in about two months time but uh, I'll stick it on then I will I'll stick it on then because uh, I like the little motorcycles uh, to me I do 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 nice little motorcycles there's a there's another one here just here in front of me so I, I'll show it to you. Uh, I, don't, I did this quite some time ago uh, hence the fact that it's quite dusty so we get a bit of the dust off it. Uh, this is the, uh, the, the BMW or no, yeah the BMW one and uh, the sidecar the R75 BMW okay that's been painted and repainted and weathered and re-weathered and God knows what done to that over the uh, over the last two or three years but um, yeah you know to me uh, kits they're, 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 they're great uh, this is this, this this kit actually is quite a nice one uh, <laughs> cobwebs and all inside John John should have cleaned it off before I bet then again I was I didn't actually intend to uh, to show it as part of this uh, as part of this screening shall we say it was just that uh, <coughs> I decided to uh, take it down and, and show you This one's nice because it comes with a chap that sits inside uh, a rider and everything and uh, two other figures with it. It's a nice little kit in itself. That's the uh, BMW with the sidecar. Right. Um, totally off the subject because it doesn't come as part of this kit. It was just a little extra thing that I, I, I said I, I, I'd show you because I was talking about um, motorbikes there from from Tamiya's so anyway lads, that's it for this update uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to give it a like thumbs up yes please or thumbs down it's up to you if you want to give it a thumbs down then you give it a thumbs down but like I always say if you want to give it a thumbs down just let me know why nobody's ever done it they just give the thumbs down and, and walk away but let me know let me know why you're giving it the old thumbs down and I I'm open to criticism you know I'm not uh, uh, I, I, I know I'm not a professional modeler and I know I'm not a professional uh, video maker. I know the quality of my videos are lacking. The sound is probably lacking. My voice is probably shite. <laughs> um, not many of you get the Irish accent. 
fiddle dee dee and all that, and I think it's what you're expecting me to start saying now. And oh, where's me lucky stars? Now that's a, an American thing, isn't it? That's that's American Irish. It's not the real Irish at all. We don't talk like that. I don't. I've never met an Irishman that talks like the uh, like a, like the Irishman in films. You know, Darby O'Gill and the Little People. No, no, none of that over here. I'll tell you that much. That's uh, that like that's Hollywood Hollywood version of Ireland. Ireland is a lovely country with lovely people. We're all nice. We're all lovely people. <coughs> believe that. You believe anything. So anyway, that's, that's it. Like I said, I'll catch you on the next one. Stay tuned. And the next one will be the final reveal of this fabulous, fabulous 88 uh, Fleck gun, gun, or sorry, gun Fleck. The Gun Fleck 88mm. And um, you can let me do it in the comments box what you think I'm doing, how you think I'm doing so far. So anyway lads, until then, take care, enjoy your modelling, be nice to one another, and uh, go out and buy yourself a kit, build it, and enjoy it. It's John signing off. See you in the next one lads. Stay safe.